She is by all appearances your typical mom, waiting for her kids at the bus stop and fussing over untied shoes. What are you doing? I thought I tied these. But get her in a gym and all that changes. Just a high sweat. She is Melanie Roach, U.S. weightlifting champion, wife, business owner, mother of three, and perhaps soon, Olympian. The 33-year-old is still in training and able to lift twice her own body weight. In fact, she can lift a lot more than anyone else at her gym, male or female. She lifts a lot more than a lot of guys, so she's pretty much like the best that I've seen. That's a girl. Today's been a good workout. This is a great way to uh, finish training for the Olympic trials. Those trials are later this month, and she's doing everything she can to get ready. She does want this badly, and she has done everything I've asked her to do to do it. Her journey, though, has been far from smooth sailing. She was ready to make the team in 2000 and head to Sydney when a back injury just before the trials ended her bid. I hunched over just a little bit and I felt a pop pop and a sharp twinge going in my back. And it was literally that fast. I was done. The result was a herniated disc that would plague her for years and put lifting on the back burner. What happened after that though would test her more than competition could. She learned that her son Drew was autistic. I had to let go of a lot of dreams I had for him and I had to come to grips with the fact that he may never do some things that we expect our kids to do. But she approached this with the same determination she focuses on her gymnastic school and her husband's successful bid at a seat in the Washington State Legislature and was soon drawing inspiration from him. And that led her back to the gym to chase a dream she never really let go. Well, she came downstairs that Sunday afternoon uh, with that big idea. Um, you know, she laid it on me that she wanted to go back to lift, lifting. To, to be honest, I wasn't really shocked because I've always known she really wanted to go back and, and try to finish what she'd started earlier on. But to be successful, she had to learn to juggle everything while at the same time dedicate some serious time to herself. Once a mom, always a mom, but for those two to three hours in the gym, I focus on just me. Well, she manages her time, yeah, and I good. think the successful people do that. You know, if you really want to do something in your, your life that's exceptional, you'll find a way to do it. And so far, she has. She is again one of the top ranked women weightlifters in the country. Competing at the Olympic Games in Beijing will mean the world to me. And that's not just for her, but she says everyone around her. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.